Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Nadir, a roguelike deck builder inspired by Dante's Divine Comedy. Now, it, it labels itself as a roguelike. The Steam tag says roguelite. I'll put it in the title, whichever one it truly is. Uh, but let us check it out here, the demo. I've been watching this for a while because the art style is very, very unique. In we shall go to check out our little prologue here. Jean. Uh, sin, pride, okay, okay, so they're all gonna have their own sins. Gotcha. Uh, okay, the liberator, hero, saint, and heretic, the symbol of faith and virtue betrayed by your fellow Christians and damned into hell for an eternity. Later, sainthood could not change her faith. The deed was done, her faith decided. So, looks like she's got, all right, some different, different cards there. Uh, I assume they're all gonna have their own different starting deck. But in we shall go with this one here. Before you enter Nadir, you will have to fight your way through its gates. Choose your path below, but be sure to be ready when the fight with Cerberus comes. You will encounter enemies that you will have to fight to proceed, but you may also find a friendly merchant or a place to rest. I mean, this is looking pretty familiar right here, that's for sure. Uh, click on the icon to activate its effect. I mean, you know, we, we know what's up with that. That's for sure. Uh, so we have torches. Are torches fight or swords fight? I'm going to assume swords are fights. And are we going... Okay, we're going from top to bottom. Ah! Absolutely. Groundbreaking and new. Uh, so, let's see here. There's question marks over here. Like, I just want to make sure we show off all the different types of things. Beggar. Fight starts. The battle begins. You were just dealt five cards into your hand. As you can see, they are in two colors representing the energy Sacrum and Profanum. The three stone stells at the top represent uh, the how much Sacrum and Profanum you can use. Gotcha. When you play a Sacrum card, the first Sacrum still will turn around and change itself to Profanum. Similarly, after Profanum, it'll change to Sacrum. Thus, playing cards... Thus, playing cards changes the amounts of, of available Sacrum and Profanum, allowing you to play different cards. I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to just see that in action to truly realize what that's getting at. Toss a coin to your humble servant. I'm gonna turn up the volume a little bit here. Just a hair. Alright, apply counter to self. The, the, I will say the font is very small. Uh, so I will try and do my best to read it out for you guys here. So clearly we can play these. So it flips. Does it flip for just the next turn? I'm assuming like we use it up. Each stone has two sides, which determines the action that the enemy will do next turn. Oh, determines what the enemy will do next turn. Gotcha. Okay, counter. A character with counter attacks back when hit with an attack card. Damage from counter equals half of the incoming damage. It can stack, but each received attack, successful or not, reduces the stack by one. Apply Rage. Rage. Rage deals 50% more damage with its next attack. Rage stacks, indicating how many damage cards will... Yeah, okay, I mean, sure. Um, each attack reduces the stack by one. So I'm kind of thinking we do like a little bit of... Uh, We put the counter on ourselves, which flips that over. Armor 2. Are you saying, like, this is what the enemy is going to do? So they, they're going to gain 2 armor. They're going to do 4 damage and gain 2 armor again? I... This is very... Interesting. So can we truly play all of our cards? That's what I'm wondering. Can we play all of our cards? I think we can, but I think if, if that's the case, then the situation will be like, well, when do we decide that uh, we should stop playing cards? Okay, okay, this system is very interesting. So they're going to gain four armor and do four damage, and but should actually, then we do two back. So maybe we don't want to do the, this because this will flip to do six damage again, unless we want to counter... So that flips that over, so they're going to do six damage. We counter with three. I don't know what this... I don't know what's on the other side of this one. Add a repentance to your draw pile. 
Okay, so enemy's turn. Now it's the enemy's turn. We'll play actions written on the visible sides of the sacrament for Phantom. I have never seen a system like that. I'll admit, I was worried for a second. Anytime I play any roguelike deck builder at all, the comments are always like, oh, this is exactly Slay the Spire, uh, if it has cards in it. And I was like, uh-oh, when, when I saw the graph. But I will say, if you sit here and you say that this system up top is a direct copy of Slay the Spire, <laughs> God help you. <laughs> now it starts the enemy's turn. And I'm not saying that the other play, like, we'll play and we'll see what's up. But now it starts the enemy's turn, plays, okay. Three visible skills will be played in sequence, one after another. To be successful in combat, you need to manipulate them to your advantage. Okay, so we do that, and then we deflect the three damage. We add Repentance to our drop pile, probably just a garbage card, and then gains two armor. Okay, so that we play them from left to right. So we could, like, go back and forth by going Slash. And then we can do... Valor, and then we could do slash again. You see what I'm saying? That would flip that back over so we wouldn't be taking any damage that turn. That is very unique. That is very unique and very interesting. Now it's time to claim your reward. You can choose one of the three presented cards. Click on the one you'd like and confirm your choice with the uh, button. Uh, if no card suits your deck, you can click the skip button. I'll take the reward. All right, so, yes, lots of text on cards. Uh, apply Rage 1 and Precise 1. What is Precise? 100% chance to crit on your next card. I don't know what a crit does in this game. I'm going to assume it's like 2x damage. Uh, that's probably the best I can assume right now. Um, apply Precise, yeah. So, th th oh, these are the same card. <laughs> it's worth noting this is the prologue, this is the demo, so there's... I'm. I can say with confidence now there's going to be more cards in the full game with it, whatever it's out, but... Uh, so, yeah, seeing two of the same is funny, though. Removes a random card from your hand to the discard pile. I mean, that's interesting. Super duper charge yourself, but you might get throw away the one thing that you need to flip this, the, uh, the banners back over to what you want. Deal eight damage. This costs two red. So mana cost in this game is so different... It's very feasible that you can play every card in your hand. Like, more than other deck builders, it seems very feasible you could play every card in your hand. But the question is, do you want to? I love that. I will say, I love the concept of that. That takes that takes a little bit uh, a little bit of the RNG away that often you will see in a deck builder. A damage on the enemy applied de decay. What does that say? Decay one on... The, oh, there should be a space there. Decay one on the enemy. Decay, they receive... Yeah, sure. They receive more damage. Sure. Big number funny, I'll take it. Lump of flesh. So it feels like uh, eventually learning what is on both sides of all of these for them will be very important. Uh, I'm going to apply rage. Weak one. Armor, weak, rage. So if we apply another rage to ourselves, And then we attack. They're going to gain five armor. Apply weak. And then apply rage. I don't want to flip these over because I don't know what's on the other side of that one. At the moment. What is this here? Impenetrable. Adds armor. Okay. Adds armor. The roost is damaged. By the value. Stays on the target until it's completely reduced by damage. So yeah, we're just going to need to do, do more here. Uh, I like the idea of... Ooh, wait. We could do Crushing Blow. And just really hope that this is fine on the other side. D damage 6 to 8. Okay. Alright, well we're definitely going to counter. And then... Damage then. It's concerning. It's concerning. But hey, at least we're going to reflect quite a bit. We have a little bit of armor ourselves. We got the weak inflicted. 3-3. Three, three. So we must have taken 3. Uh, so we blocked 3, then took 3. Gotcha. So in order to flip them all back, we could do a, a counter. Counter. 
rage. Rage. Attack. Attack. Is probably going to be a decent call. Like, I'm fine with this. This is like the ideal setup here. Armor weak rage. If we can always... That's the thing. If we can always have it be blue, blue, red, this guy nev never attacks me. You know what I'm saying? If you can find the right setup for them. I will say... If there's a place to see what's on the other side of these, that would be cool. Um, but truly, that is just... I would imagine that that's going to be a... Your mileage may vary thing. We could flip this. If we flip it, we're going to have a really hard time flipping it back. Um, let's see. We could do... What, what if we did... Retaliate, retaliate, crushing blow, attack. So, bang, bang, boom, boom. Everything would be blue. Do we want that? Or bang, bang, crushing blow. That's actually probably the better way to do it, right? Yeah, I will say we can't like buffer the cards. That's kind of a that's a thing I would like changed. So we can just do that, and then if we just sit here, then we're fine. Otherwise, we open ourselves up to taking damage, which maybe isn't that big of a deal. So we are gaining armor though, adds armor equal to the temperance value for every discarded card. Ah, okay, so that's just a passive of our our specific character. Wow, okay. All right, what's this? Decay. Hello. Nice. Okay, Rage on a blue sounds great, because then we can just do this for a good chunk more damage. Um, counter. Rage. We'll discard this. We could just discard, like, an entire hand. That's another thing. We could discard an entire hand to get a lot of armor and then go for it next turn, basically. We didn't get any armor, though. Adds armor equal to the temperance value for each discarded card. We have so much counter. So that counter is not going away. That stays. That's very interesting as well. I really would have thought it would go. <laughs> I think we can kill. Nope. Nope, we can't because we can't flip it back. Might as well do this for now. No, oh, the 12 because of the weaken. We got we had rage and he had the um the the frail or whatever you want to call it. The vulnerable, <laughs> if we're gonna be honest. Uh app, apply 12 armor. Okay, that would let us play a different way but adds Repentance to your discard pile. I can only imagine it's a garbage card. Five damage and draw a card. See, drawing seems extra useful in this game. Like, really extra useful, since you can easily have an infinite amount of mana. You could theoretically easily have an infinite amount of mana. Cut tendrils. I'm going to take this for the ability to flip two blues. Because that could innately be a benefit as well. Look at this son of a gun. Hey, dude. Moves a random card from your hand to your discard pile. And then draw three. That seems so nice. Wisdom, draw two. I mean, again, those... I'll repeat what I said. Those seem very beneficial in this. Draw two. Because, like, we could just theoretically just flip it back. Deal five and draw also sounds good. We'll go with that. I don't know. We might regret it. We might want the money later. Okay. Shielded. What do you mean? You mean I literally can't do damage to him?
That might be the case. Damage 8. That'd be a very interesting thing. I know I've said that so much, but trust me, it's because this game is really very intriguing to me right now. Okay, we don't want to play a blue before we play a red. Because then he will be... Oh my god, that's so tricky. I love that, though. Because then he would be, uh, he'd be shielded. Okay. Armor, armor. Also want to turn up the, uh, the effects. I don't know what's on the other side of this one, and it's at this point it's kind of risky to just flip it and, and not know. Like, I kind of want to know. I want to know. Okay, so so he get, he would gain shielded next turn. That's the thing. So he's not shielded now. He will gain shielded. Do we want to flip this? Uh, yes. Is that right? He gains shielded. Yeah. So shielded just prevents damage from one specific attack. All right. Okay. That is very... That is very unique, though. That does provide a, a rough situation for us. But if we could have just, like... Yeah, the amount of damage... We would need to do... For this... Is pretty high. But, again... What's that? What the hell was that? Is that a crit? What the hell was that? <laughs> what was that? Oh, shoot. We shouldn't have played the last one. That was a mistake. I mean, but we did counter at the very least. I don't know how tough it's going to be to get health back. And they don't have shielded. Which will probably be quite nice. So flip that over. Draw two. The damage. Uh, counter. Rage. Counter. I don't think we want to add the armor right now. Like, I don't know. We, we're buffing ourselves up for later here. Shielded. Five armor. Five armor. Ten armor. That's the thing. Is you're you're deciding. It's the tempo of what the enemy does is up to you entirely, and that is very different. Uh, how much range do we have? We want run one range. Um, what if we? I'm going wild here. I don't. I don't want to flip that back. <laughs> I don't want to flip that back, and I don't think we can. We wouldn't kill. So we're only going to have to get through... I took two. I don't know. Like, is there some special thing happening there? What, what is, what's going on with that? It's a little unclear. It's a little unclear. Okay. Don't have very much draw. Uh, kind of like... Okay, so let's think. We could... Retaliate slash okay, retaliate slash 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 it would all be blue. And then we power of pain. Right? Or sorry, power of pain slash 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 retaliate. I think 
Power of Pain. Slash. Slash. I don't, I don't know. Is that us breaking his armor? We can really die in hell. And then counter. Unless... No, no, no counter. Don't counter. We can take this hit. We have the armor for it. And then we retaliate. Eat it, nerd. That worked well. Yeah, gaining armor makes having counter actually make sense. Um, draw two. You're done, son. Boom. Give us some rage. Give him an attack. This is super cool. See you in hell. Oh, wait. Uh, I'll get you next time. Oh, I had like an alt text. <laughs> Again, this is a demo. A very cool demo, mind you. 20 armor on yourself, no other penalty. Armor 12 and counter. We'll try that one out. Maybe repentance is actually a good benefit, like actually a beneficial card. Repentance must be beneficial. I didn't actually see what it was. 200 bucks. Apply shielded to yourself. Oh, full blue. Heal 8 damage. Apply 2 precise. Apply rage 1. Precise 1. Six damage, add hatred. I don't know what that means. Six damage. See, I could read... I don't know. I would imagine if it follows typical deck builder rules, the starting cards should be bad, so six damage should not be enough of an upgrade to warrant hatred being a negative card. It should... Oh, add a... a hatred is the name of the card, so add a, add a copy of this card. Uh... I don't think so. Not in... No. You do... I, you could really screw yourself over if you had a full deck of the same color. You, like, really need to have a good ebb and flow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, come on, take a red. Like the precise. Precise. Is this an event? What's going on? Event. Ah, okay. So the events probably aren't in the demo yet. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. This is super cool, though. This is... Huh? Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Still. For a demo. For a demo. I am really intrigued to see how the different characters play and what kind of cards eventually are going to get added. This is super cool. Uni in unison. Urgh. Oh, Cerberus, you look uh, you look off. Poison 3 does not seem like something we want to get right now. Counter damage. Sheesh. We don't want any of those. Um, I think that there's like real merit in flipping these over and just figuring out what they all are. Damage. Rage. Okay, damage. Precise 2. I would maybe be okay with that. Poison. Uh, um, counter seems problematic. Oops, trying to attack myself. Okay, that should do 16, not bad. I don't know what repentance does. We can only pick one. If we do this, we get 12 armor and a counter. It seems like the way to go. I don't like that the precise comes after the damage, though, and I really don't like that they have counter. And I was not able to figure out what is on the other side of that move. Yeah, precise too. Yikes. I... 
you know. I gotta go for it. Do I want to flip that over to what was on the other side? Like, I, obviously, knowing we were gonna we were gonna take damage, I I want to flip it over. Damage. Um, Aye, aye, aye. I don't... Doesn't have the precise buff on. Do I want to let him have it? I'll give myself another counter. If we could just get a bunch of armor, I feel like we could actually handle this guy pretty well. Yeah. Oh, wait. You can... Wait. You can either have... He can only have precise or counter. Oh. Oh, God. Draw cards. Okay. Thank you for giving me wisdom, because maybe I can actually draw a... A guarding card. Sure. We want to get rid of that. This is this is tight, but then we can apply uh, rage. We can apply precise, and we can go for the crushing blow, which should actually be very juicy now, right? Twenty-four. Lots of damage coming out. Do I go in on the retaliate? I'll tell you what, I do know that this is the end of, like, this has got to be the end of the demo, right? So if we go for Retaliate here, we will live this. We will live this, and we are, we're going to counter very, very highly. Uh, and then we will definitely get to kill next turn because he has no fancy, he's not going to have counter, he's not going to have anything. So attack and then a recoil, or a, yeah, Retaliate, and then another attack and another Retaliate. And then it, this should be free, because there is no counter, there's no worry whatsoever. This is not that free, unfortunately. This is not that free at all. I think we actually can do it, though. We attack here. Oh, 24. We had the... Oh, because we had the guaranteed crit and the other one there. All right. On full release, you'll be able to upgrade your character. Okay, so yes, technically right right now it's a roguelike. It's going to be a roguelite later. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, roguelite, roguelite. That's okay. Uh, thank you for playing the deer. Prologue, slay the slay the six. I just realized that's so funny. Uh, we hope that you liked it and enjoyed your time here. Have you already tried out all the different choices you can make during the prologue? No, but. Be sure to get the full game when it's out. You can try all the characters, their abilities, and journey to the bottom of hell. Add the game to your wish list. Follow. Stay tuned. Uh, tell us what you think about the game on our social channels. Thank you for playing. See you soon. Uh, build your deck. More characters and monsters. I will say, I, I love the conceptual base system. Uh, I think it is clever, and I think it forces decisions that the that I feel like I've not quite had to make as a player in another roguelike deck builder. Obviously, are there elements that are very similar to Slay the Spire? Sure. But the base core, like the very core mana system is so fundamentally different that it is an entirely different game. Like, let me make that clear. It is an entirely different game. Because of that system, it really changes how you play entirely uh, to a, a, a massive degree. I'm very curious to see the other characters. I'm curious to see how spicy the decks get. I would say definitely include uh, notes to devs. Definitely include a UI scale thing. This is something I, I say to a lot. Of, I, I've been saying a lot to a lot of devs. UI scale. There are some people who are visually impaired. Uh, make sure you have a setting to increase the size of the fonts on your cards and everything. Uh, that's a very important thing. Uh, this one is. I, this is subjective. I don't know if I want it or not. I'm just pointing this out there. 
it's worth considering the ability to see the other side of the of the flags of the uh, I forgot the name of them. You know, the uh, the banners at the top. It's worth considering maybe thinking about adding a, another side to those. That could be something. Could not be. Uh, that could be fun. Could be... Maybe it goes against what you want. Maybe you want the player to have to discover that. I think that's entirely possible. Uh, that does make it so it's something that you are supposed to play more and more in order to discover what all the enemies do. Maybe that's what you want. Maybe there's some people who would prefer to be able to, to uh, sight read each fight and have as good of a chance uh, at, without knowing all of the extra information. Again, that's player to player. Who knows? That I, Whatever you... Maybe it's not in the game on purpose. Maybe you just didn't think of it. So I'm putting that out there. Uh, but other than that, yeah, taking that and running, I, I do think that... God, it's, it's tough to say. Because I was going to say, there, there's an interesting... Um, world where like you can play around with this color system can add a third color and change things up but that really would require like an entire game shakeup. but yeah i i would just urge the devs to deeply consider how to expand on the system to make cards feel truly different from each other and feel uh very very separated from each other and have builds actually be truly truly unique instead of just this card, either this is a damage card or a defensive card, which is currently what it sort of seems like. Either this is a defensive card or a damage card. I'm sure when, when the full game is out, that's something that'll be looked at. That's just one thing that I would say uh, to, to definitely do. That's just me talking to the devs. There's something I noticed. I think that that would be cool. I actually cannot wait for this to come out in early access or 1.0, however it is deciding to be released. I would say uh, I'm really, 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 really excited to see what uh what comes of this game i really like it unique system never seen it quite like this before but that is it that's gonna do it for today uh we could play the demo again but i'm not gonna spoil myself too much i think that uh we will be back i i actually i i do think we will be back to check this out when it's out so this has been nadir my name is retromation if you want to play this demo right here for free it is on steam you can go in you can play differently than i did i will go back to the main menu and make sure there's not another character uh, but yeah, I was going to say, didn't think there would be. So I would say 5% crit chance. Yeah, that's what that was. Um, I, I would say that this is going to be very cool and this is definitely one to watch. So go click the link at the top of the description, go wishlist the game and also download the demo and play it for yourself. If you want to do things differently than I did, I really like it. Can't wait to see it when it's out. Subscribe to the channel for roguelikes and more every single day. If you don't want to miss great upcoming new roguelites and more this is a channel you are going to want to be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.